with you about uh, uh, dental care. And I've already received a number of emails that have come in on this run. Send me a text if you want to weigh in, 770-770. We may have some time for calls as well at the end, 403-974-8255. There, there are two parts of this interview that I want to do. One is when I had Dr. David Swan on, he is calling for reform in the dentistry industry on two fronts. On the, on the first front, he's concerned about the fact that Alberta has a relatively high level of dental bills for the whole range of services that are causing some people to go abroad to get their dental treatment. And I mentioned on Bruce's show this morning, I know two people who went down to Mexico to get significant dental work done, and there are stories about how people are going to Nelson, B.C. to be able to get a little bit of a break. That's one part of it. But, but Dr. Swan also told us that there's a battle brewing between the Alberta Dental Association and college, and that there is a group that has started to be able to challenge the way they operate. Now, my next guest is part of that group. His name is Dr. Michael Zuck. He's a general dentist in Red Deer, and he's editor of the Alberta Dentist Lobby Newsletter. Letter, which is the uh, which, which is one of the vehicles that the message is getting out for Alberta dentists for change. Joining me to talk about the concerns that they have is uh, Dr. Michael Zuck. Dr. Zuck, thanks for being with me. Thank you very much. Now you're going to have to unbundle this dispute that you're having with the college for us because it's one of those areas since you're essentially. Uh, in, in your own free enterprise market, your own private market, we don't spend as much time talking about what's going on in your field because there aren't as many public policy or health minister asks that come out of, of, uh, of trying to, to, uh, to regulate the dentistry industry. So tell us what's going on and, and why you're having a problem with your association. Uh, well, we're, we're having a, a huge problem right now. The, the association and college are joined. So basically, they're trying to be our friends and also beat us up. But unfortunately, the, the bullies are a little more powerful in that organization. And they are, are over-policing dentists um, in, in over simple things like their websites and their advertisements. And in fact, it's so bad that you could kill someone in BC in a dental chair and be treated better than if, if you just have a website problem in Alberta. Give us an idea of, what, I know that you've run afoul of the association and college, so, so tell us your particulars. What happened with you? Well, for me, uh, I had a few jealous uh, competitors that were orthodontists um, that they used the complaint system to uh, get me in trouble with the advertising department. And I ran for public office and I got, uh, got voted in to work on the dental board and, and I was trying to make changes and they kind of sandbagged me and pushed me out and uh, I criticized them and then they sued me for $9 million and continued with this uh, investigation against me while suing me at the same time. And so uh, I had a hearing and they recommended a five-year suspension and $270,000 investigation costs over a book and some websites. Whoa, that sounds like a pretty huge penalty. So if I'm hearing you, are you saying that as a dentist you are not allowed to advertise at all, either either billboard ads or even on a website? Oh, you can advertise, and, and they always uh, say that if it's ethical or if it's uh, according to their rules, but what I'm finding is if... if uh, if you look at the board members and what they do, they're, they're breaking all the rules and they have investigators that are breaking the rules, but when they pick you to be a, an example, they will tear you to shreds and they have a couple lawyers that have figured out how to make money doing this. Tell me what they say you did wrong, just so that we can understand what it is that you're up against here. Well, uh, one example is they said I had too many websites that, that talked about braces and it implied I was an orthodontist, but after six years they never found anything that ever said that I claim to be an orthodontist. I'm a general dentist who has the right to, to do braces, to, to uh, do orthodontics, and um, other things, for example, I had a bus bench that didn't have the word general dentist on it. So um, they made a big deal about, uh, about those little things and, and having a, an advertisement with dotted lines around it turned it into a coupon, which made it uh, a, a very serious crime. So again, everything I've done, I don't feel bad about. Or, for example, winning a, 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 a reader's poll, best dentist in, in Red Deer um, a newspaper poll. I got in trouble for advertising that I won. So um, it's just these, these petty things that they, they trump up into uh, massive investigations so that do, are unacceptable. Do you, have, do you have a website right now? 
I, I, have, I have a number of websites, for example, you know, BowerDental.com is a simple one that, that, it, that I have, or RedDeerHighSpeedBraces.ca is another one. I had a couple people asking to, so they could check it out. Are you now suspended then for the next five years? Uh, they pushed for five years, and again, this is the idea of this lady who's also suing me for defamation, so she's the lawyer there. And she was running the investigation, suing me at the same time, and so she recommended the five years, but the tribunal, who has a, um, a public member on it, uh, agreed that I, would, I should be suspended for one year and be fined $170,000, which, again, is, is outrageous for, for simple advertising and criticizing them. So I'm appealing that, and uh, hopefully I'll have to get some justice no matter what it takes whether I have to appeal to court eventually uh, someone's going to look at this and say this is insane. Well the question is isn't there any way for the health minister to step in and provide some guidelines? Why, why is it that the the dental association and college is essentially a law unto, unto itself it seems and able to make its own rules? Well they're, they're given the right to do that but when things get real bad you know it's bad when dentists are banding together and doing class action lawsuits against their own college and, and association. So she, uh, Sarah Hoffman could step in and say, hey, it's time to, to break up this monopoly and time to address these issues that are, are, are violating uh, the decency of, for example, advertising free consultations and um, things like that. It doesn't make any sense that they're, they're being so restrictive on us that uh, it, we're screaming uh, every day. I'm saying, sending her a fax and an email trying to get her attention, and, and it, it's like uh, banging your head up against the wall here. So, if I understand it, if we're looking at how doctors are regulated, we have a college of physicians and surgeons that make sure docs are, are living up to the standards of the profession, right. but then you also have the Alberta Medical Association, which negotiates fees and represents the doctors in more of a professional uh, income capacity. Is that... Is that the kind of model that you guys want, is to have the two of them separated? It seems like we have to separate because there's, I think there's just the wrong people that are in place and they're letting the college just bully us to death. It's, it's brutal. Again, dentists losing their licenses for months at a time for advertising as a cosmetic dental office. I mean, it's, it's for an example, if, if you're a tax attorney, if you advertise as a tax attorney, would you get beat up the same way? It, it's just, you know, there's no such thing as a true tax attorney specialist. It is just an area of preference. You know, I have to tell you, Dr. Zuck, I haven't heard much about this, this issue. Why all of a sudden is, is it something that you're advocating on? Oh, uh, I've been screaming up and down for the last few years, but um, when it comes down to it, uh, I was getting no response back from the Dental Association. They, they're basically um, trying to... Um, shut me up with lawsuits and you know I'm, I'm getting no help with the association so I had to go to the MLAs and again uh, Dr. David Swan has, has, has looked at their situation he understands and uh, it's just total frustration. Okay I want to talk about the other side of this issue which is the patient side because it sounds like the health minister Sarah Hoffman is prepared to do a review of your industry. Now I, I don't know how you can do a review of your industry without also looking at the way that you're regulated. So no doubt the issues that you're raising are ones that she'll have to have a look at. But I think what customers and patients are worried about is the, the way in which the dental costs have escalated over the, the last number of years, or maybe they've always been relatively high. I, I'd like to hear your perspective in responding to, to some of the concerns. I've got a number of texts that have come in. But uh, just to stay with me, because we're talking with Dr. Michael Zuck, general dentist in Red Deer. If you've got something you want to weigh in on, 77770, you can also call us, 403-974-8255. We'll be right back on News Talk 770. Is now the time?